Shalom. I want to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rokal Kadash, double honors to the Apostle and Elders, great millstone, rule well, and peace and salutations to the house of David, the late man pushing his truth in fact, sincerity. This is the brother Yitzhak coming back at you with another quick listen through the spirit and prophecy. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Bashem, Bashem, Rokal Kadash. And, um, you know, I just want to make, make a quick listen uh, entitled, uh, We Wasn't Made to Be Working No Jobs or to Be Slaves, you know, because Jake love this shit. Jake, Jake, be, Jake be at, at work acting a damn fool, man, for Esau, man. You know, in, in, in there cooning so hard, man. You know, he be in there running around, you know, smiling, tucking in his shirt, you know, doing back looks for Esau, man. You know, it. It, 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 like he he be happy to get his get his little bit of check, you know, go pay Esau some bills, you know, chuck and jive, man. You know Esau love, I mean uh, Jake love doing this shit like like he was like, nigga. We weren't even supposed to be we weren't even supposed to be working on jobs, man. We 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 were made to be a nation of kings, priests, and judges, man. Which of course we know why we are in this position because we're in captivity, but Jake. You leave it to Jake, man. Jake, Jake can stay like this for the rest of eternity, man. He can do this shit, man. Go to school, get get a get a degree, you know, work at a warehouse and drive a damn Fort Lift, you know, get a check and go on a little vacation every every other week. I mean, every every other uh, few months, you know, fucking uh, deal with these slut whores and they'll be happy, man. You know. Jake, Jake be happy to work 12, 14 hours, 10 hours, you know, 8 hours for Esau, man. You gotta get that money, man. What else you gonna do? You gotta work. Yeah, Jake, Jake be out of his fucking mind out here, man. But, you know, I'm just getting some scriptures, man. This uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses. Yeah, I've seen servants upon horses, which horses represent power, man. All right, so the true servants are um, are the so-called uh, white man. It's the so-called white man. He's in power, you know. They're true servants, you know. And they tell you about that in Genesis, the twenty-fifth chapter, about how the uh, the elders should serve the younger man. All right, so really the so-called white man, he's a servant, man. But he's in power. You think the so-called white man, these uh, super elite, you think they working, man? They ain't doing no motherfucking work, man. They man, them niggas ain't doing nothing, man. And you niggas. Busting your back, you know these. You think these uh, CEOs and these big company holders, you know, uh, you think that they working, man? You think they really doing any kind of labor, man? Get the hell out of here! They making millions and billions of dollars, you know, trillions of dollars. Why, why, why you making ten to twenty five dollars an hour, and you know, uh, and, and and okay, you know, you got to bust your damn back, man. So. Oh. Drive your back into the ground. It says, I have seen service upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. And who is the princes, man? The princes is Israel, man. All right, Yasharala, man. We're the princes of the power, man. We walking as service upon the earth. All right. We walking as service uh, upon the earth. You know? It's a lock, you. Yeah, we walking in service upon the earth, man. We 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 the princes of the power, man. All right, but we're in a position of uh, servitude, man. You know. So, but we we don't supposed to be no damn servant servants, man. All right. Let me read this. Let me read uh, verse five. Yeah, let me read verse start. Jump up to five. This is Ecclesiastes ten and five. It says, "There is an evil which is, which I have seen under the sun as an error." Which proceeded from the ruler, and that's an error, man. All right, and the ruler is the so-called white man, you know, which which is an evil, you know. Folly is set in great dignity, and the and the rich sit in a low place. Yeah, and that's Jake, man, sitting in these in these low positions in these jobs, man. You know, we truly the rich. We don't. Want, it's supposed to be opposite. We supposed to be sitting back, you know. what I'm saying chilling while these damn uh, heathen work for us. We're not supposed to be working for these damn heathen, man. But Jake is okay with it. That, that's that's folly being said in great dignity, man. That's foolishness, man. That's foolishness, man. It says, I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Yeah, and that's us, man. The nation of Israel working as servants upon the earth. But guess what? Uh, let me see. 
people. Let me see if I can type it in. Okay, yeah, here we go. Yep. This uh Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 31. It says the prophets prof prophecy falsely and the priests bear rule by their means. Yeah, this that's uh Esau Edom and his uh, whole uh philosophy and system of how life is supposed to be, you know, and his his uh his uh so to speak uh economists and uh you know, uh, mentors and uh, people of status in this world. You know, they, they they prophecy falsely, man, and they bear rule by their means. They don't prophecy uh, according to the scripture. You know, they they don't bear rules by the means of Yahweh Shimei Shai. And it says, "And my people love to have it so." And what will ye do in the end thereof? Yeah. So Jake love to have it so, man. Jake loves to be in a servitude position. Under these devils, they, they they love to hear this bullshit. They love to hear. Look, if you just work, get you a nice job, you work for five, ten years, you stack you up some bread, you get you some benefits, you know, you get you a little hustle on the side, you know, you do what you gotta do. You just work hard. You 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 could uh you can have a good life. You have money and you can do whatever you want. Jake loved that. Jake loved to hear that. Jake loved that idea. You know, but you have about Shemash. I said, what will you have? What will you do in the end there, real? Cause ultimately, man, ain't none of that shit gonna do nothing for you, man. When you have about Shemash, uh, uh, visit this place, man. All right, if your ass don't have uh faith, faith and works, in 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 his name, you know, then he's gonna destroy your ass, man. Run run around here cooning for Esau, man. You know. Jake, Jake being that cooner so hard for Esau, it's a damn shame, bro. Like, I, I be looking at how Jake be acting, man. Like, you got to do this and you got to do that. You got to have it this type of way. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you, you you being a good old boy for Esau, man. You know, you being a good old boy for Esau, man. Like, this nigga not even hearing you in here upholding his company, making sure he he he, he make his money, you know? Like, like. Like he, uh, like he gonna give you a fucking kudos or something. He, he, he not even there. And he can't even see what you're doing. He don't give a damn. All right, but you upholding him like that, man. You know? That's, that's why the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indian gonna be destroyed, man. This, uh, Jeremiah 2 and 14. Is Israel a servant? That's a question mark. Like I always tell the brothers, man. When, when you see a question mark, that's a rhetorical question. Is Israel a servant? That, that's a hell no. He ain't no damn servant, man. All right. It says, like it says, it says in Genesis 25th chapter, the younger shall uh, rule over thee, man. You know? It says, is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Is he a homeborn slave, man? Why is he spoiled? Let's get a homeborn slave. And this, yeah, how about you, shot a uh, question, you so-called Negroes. Like, why you niggas act the way you do, man? Why do you niggas act the way you do? You know? Homeborn. Uh, okay, so let's get... Uh, this, that's, that's by Yath, which is a uh, house. But let's get uh, Slave. Mm. Yeah, so why are you niggas house slaves? You know? It says... Uh, Madua, a Madawa, Madawa. Right, yeah, so why are you niggas acting like damn house slaves, man? Being some damn coons. What, nigga, are you niggas, are, 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 you, would you, are you niggas really slaves? And you, you would think that Jake was really a slave out here, man. The way Jake be acting out here. It, it don't make no damn sense, man. He loved this shit. You know, oh man, the, the, the money good at this job. You know, ain't no problem with this. Let's get this. This uh, Psalm 62 and 9 says, Surely men of low degree are vanity. And this is so called white man, he's of low degree. And, and, and Jake, y'all y'all follow behind the so called white man like he of such high degree. You know, so how, how, how much, how vain are you? 
a man of high degree of are alive and that's this the so-called white man too in this society supposedly because he's esteemed in the eyes of uh of the so-called negro latino and native indian man all right but they they liars man you know all, all, all they prosperity in this board that's not prosperity man you know working a job and getting a good career that's not prosperity bro it says to be laid in balance balance in the balance they are all together lighter than fantasy <laughs> wow bro so you yeah, that's you so-called negroes latinos and native indians and the so-called white man you're lighter than vanity <laughs> bro that's <laughs> that's hell bro it says verse 10 trust not in oppression yeah trust not in oppression which this place is completely oppressive man you work at these fucking jobs they make you work 10 to 12 hours man and bust your back man you know just for a little punk ass check and they'll get rid of you with it, it, it the blink of an eye you know for doing one little mishap wrong man you know you know you you put your life into this man you, it, it, into your job and making sure you got this you know you you put your life into uh working man that's trusting in oppression it says and become not vain and robbery yeah, and become not vain and robbery which this place was built in robbery through robbery let's get robbery Get the word robbery. I looked it up before. It's uh Gazal and it says taken away by violence, you know. And that's that's what this place uh uh that's what America how America was built, man. Alright, it was taken away by robbery, man. It was taken away by violence, man. Alright, this place was built out the blood of the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indian, man. Alright. This shit, this, this, this not even a so-called white man country, bro. He, here it is. You built up this country, built up all these businesses, and you niggas want to uh, break your back here. Yeah, Salakia, but, you know, this country was built, you know, off the backs of the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Indians. You, you built this country up, and here it is, you know, all these companies that was built up by you. And all these businesses that was built up by you. Shit, America is, itself is a business. You want to, uh break your back you know for the same company that you built up nigga shouldn't you be taking part in fruits of your labors instead of still laboring for it you know that's crazy man you become vain and robbery man you know it says if riches increase sit not your heart upon them right and that's all jake give a damn about man is getting a little money man get a little bit of money to take care of my family i'm okay i'm good man fucking jake man piss me off man like this uh stupid ass nigga you know at this uh at this uh job i was uh, working at yesterday i just talked about he said some stupid shit like uh you know um if uh we have meetings every uh monday and thursday so you know if if uh if you gotta come here you gotta be here uh, by 2.30 or 2.50. Nigga, the scheduled time is at 3. What are you talking about? Why Why do I have to be here by 2.50 or 2.30? If not, they're going to they gonna send you home. So you're going to send me home for coming to work on time. You know? Nigga, you don't know what the hell Jake got going on in his life. He already oppressed from every side. You got kids. You know, you got bills. You got all other type of situations and shit going on. You know? And I got to come here early to appease your stupid coon ass. You know, because you want to fucking be a good old boy for Esau. That's why you have us, you know, so going to kill you niggas, man. This uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 12, it says, For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. So money is a defense. Yeah, you know, Jake love to have money. You know, oh, I got to take care of my kids. I got to do what I got to do for my family. You know, I got to I gotta make sure my life's straight, you know. So, yeah, that's a defense. You can pay your bills. You can do what you got to do. But what? But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom give life to them that have it. All right, and wisdom give life to them that have it, man. All right, so it's better to know who you truly are, man. It's better to know that, nigga, you, you, the world was made for your sakes, man. That's true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Once you understand that, you ain't going to be damn worried about no stupid-ass job, which, you know, yeah, you got to have money, you know, to live. We understand that money is a defense. Okay, cool. But you're not going to put all your your hope in, in life into that you know
Because really you don't have, that's not life. Wisdom giveth life, man. Having a job, that shit don't give you life, man. Well, shit, you be working a job. You know, that shit breaks you down mentally and physically, man. You know? That shit don't give you no life, man. That shit is death. You know? Shit is death. Who in the hell in the right mind just want to go work? You know, you're, 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 you're a loser. Let's get this in Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 11. This, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 11, it says, For whoso despise of wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain. And that's, that's the majority of the whole nation of Israel. They despise wisdom and, 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 and nurture, man. That's why they be miserable, man. You know, really, you can tell, man, Jake be on these jobs, they get a little bit of money and shit, man. But really, on the low, they be miserable, man. They life is horrible, bro. You got to work five, six days out of the week, 40 plus hours, 40 hours, you know, go home, you know, eat your little snack, you know, and go back and do it again till you die. You know, that's miserable. And, you're, and you will have no hope. Why? Because we just read in, uh, and uh, Ecclesiastes 7 about how wisdom give life, you know, job is it don't give you no life So your your, your hope is, is vain. You're just gonna you just your, your your life is diff It says their labels aren't fruitful and their works unprofitable, right? <laughs> All that work you're doing is, is is unfruitful man, and it's unprofitable man. It's not doing nothing for you man The only work in, in, in labor that, That's this fruitful and profitable is is is, is serving you have by Shema Shah, which our people don't want to do or don't give a damn about all they care about is working for their daddy esau and and, and, and filling their pockets up you know to go go be a fucking demon go get some tattoos or uh you know some kind of weird piercing or go trick off on a slut freak you know or buy a damn car you know J jake is retarded man this is lamentation shirt the fibers eight it says servants have ruled over us. Yes, servants have ruled over us, man. That's the so-called white man, man. He ruling over us. How the hell is a servant ruling over us and you just okay with it? It says there is none that deliver us out of their hand. Yes, yeah, none that deliver us out of their head, man. You know, we just in the hand of a damn servant, man. You know, and Jake cool with it, you know. Fucking man. Man, this shit is it's disgusting when you think about it. It's disgusting. It's Isaiah chapter 14, verse 2. And the people shall take them. Um, uh, yeah, let me just read it to it. This is uh, Isaiah 14 and 2. It says, and the people shall take them uh -huh, and bring them to their place. Talking about Israel, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. Yeah, how about Shema Shah for servants and handmaids? Yeah, we're gonna possess all these heathen nations, man. You know, we're gonna possess every single one of these heathen nations, man. We're gonna possess their ass as servants and handmaids, man. And ultimately, if we're part of the elect, all you two thirds, y'all gonna uh y'all gonna admonish and, and, and appreciate us to, to a super high level, man. You know, to a super high level, high, way higher than y'all admonish and, and appreciate uh, damn Esau, you know, trying to uphold his company affairs and shit. You know, it says, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. You have a Shema Shah for servants and handmaids. Yeah, we're going to have servants and handmaids. We ain't going to be no damn servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives who captives they were. So we are actually captives to someone. All right, but we're going to take them captives. And they, and they should rule over their oppressors. Yeah, we're going to rule over our oppressors. The same people that's oppressing us. All right. The same people that's holding us captive. The same people that's uh, using us as servants. We're going to make them servants. We're going to make them captives. We're going to rule over their ass. You know. It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord, Yahabashim HaShah, shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. Yeah. And working a job for Esau, bitch ass. Is, is a part of that hard bondage, man. Let's go to Proverbs 17. This uh Proverbs chapter 17. Oh, let me start at one. This Proverbs 17 and one. Better is a dry morsel and quietness therewith than 
a house full of sacrifices with strife. And that's this place, our America, man. A, a house full of damn sacrifices with strife, man. Our sacrifices to who? False gods and uh and, and, and false deities and, and, and demonic entities and uh and uh and and, and, and false swearing, man. You know. It says better is a dry morsel and quietness there within a house full of sacrifices with strife. And that's all this place brings here in America is strife. You know, which Italian James the third chapter about where, it, where, where, where strife and contention is, so is every evil work. It says, a wise servant shall have rule over a son that causes shame, you know, which is, uh, you two thirds so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, like I was saying, the lick, you know, they gon' be in uh in in a, in a higher position than the two thirds in the kingdom of heaven. Why? Because they didn't uh put their stock and bond into this world, man. You know, you you put your stock and your bond into this world, into the riches of this world, rather than your how about Shimei Shah. When the the, the lick, they gon' choose your how about Shimei Shah over the stock and bonds of this world. You know, so. The elect gonna rule and judge over the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel with our Lord Yahweh Shah and over all these heathen, you know. Which you know the, the two thirds they still gonna be in power too. They gonna rule over the heathen, you know. But they they not gonna be on the same level as the elect, you know. It says and shall have a part of the inheritance among the brethren. It says it says and shall have part of the inheritance among the brethren. Which what's that inheritance? Among the brethren, it speak about that in uh, Romans the eighth chapter. You know, being joint heirs with our Lord Yahweh Shai, and like I just quoted in Matthew the nineteenth chapter about how they're gonna sit upon the twelve, the uh, twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. You know, so let's go here, one oh six, and uh, I think it's, let me see, I think it's uh. Like your brother, let me see what it said. Uh, okay, yep. This uh, Psalms 106 and 40 it says, Therefore was the wrath of the Lord Yahweh kindled against his people, and so much that he abhorred his own inheritance, you know, which we are Yahweh Shah's inheritance, you know, which you know, we, we looking for our inheritance, you know, which Lord willing is the kingdom of heaven, you know. Which is gonna come through the the lick through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. It says verse forty one, and he gave them into the hand of the heathen, and they that hated them ruled over them. Yeah, so we got it. So since Yahweh Shah Mashiach abhorred us and, and uh, you know got was displeased with his inheritance, he delivered us into the hand of the heathen, man. You know, and they rule and got us ruling over us. So this is we don't supposed to be happy in this position this, this was actually a punishment this position that we in right here you know it says their enemies also oppressed them and they they were brought into the subjection under their hand yeah so we brought into the subjection of the hand of the heathen man you know we, we, we're actually in subjection to these fucking heathens man you know when these heathen are nothing man like I speak, speak about that in 2nd Ezra the 6th chapter man you know but Jake cool with it. Jake is cool. He don't have no problem with that, you know, and, and that baffles me, man. You know, but hey, soon enough, you have about Shah, He gonna deliver us out of here, man. Lord willing, man. He gonna do. He gonna. He gonna uh, get his. Come get his remnant. Lord willing, we're a part of that, you know. So, hey, guy, Salakia. Where is it? Uh. Is it oh, Haggai 1? So like it. This Haggai 1 and 6. It says, Ye have sown much and bring in little, ye eat. Yeah, this, bro. Jake be going hard, hard, bro, for these companies, bro. You spend most of your life working for Esau, man. And you, and you, some, some Jake be spending most of their life working for Esau and still don't really have shit, you know? But ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages 
earn enough wages to put it in a bag with holes, man. <laughs> That's this society, man, under these heathens, man. They just, they just give you money just to pay it right back to them, man. You know, they make you work and build their shit up just to work some more and do it some more. And keep and keep getting them straight, you know. That's a hey, man. Hey, but Jake, this is how Jake wanted, so, you know, you can die with this shit, you know. You can die with this shit if this how you want it. Fuck a job, fuck a career, fuck all this shit, you know. We do what we got to do to take care of our families and get our daily bread, you know, and that's it, bro. You know, fuck this place. This is Judah chapter 9, verse 11. For thy power standeth not in the multitude nor thy might and strong man, for thou art a God of the afflicted and helper of the oppressed and an upholder of the weak, a protector of the forlorn, a savior of them that are without hope. Yeah, so that's what our power is, man. He a God of the afflicted and a helper of the oppressed, man, a upholder of the weak, you know, a protector of the forlorn, a savior of them that were without hope, man, you know, and that's the nation of Israel, man. And ultimately, that's the lick, bro. That's the lick, you know. Because we oppressed, we afflicted, we weak, you know. We, we, man, we, man, we finished here, man, you know. That's why I say, man, complete, man, fuck this place, man, you know. Because we don't have shit here, man. We just, we, we, we just waiting on our power, the Heavenly Father, you know, and our Lord, your house, shout to come deliver us, man. So we can get the hell up out of here, man. We ain't got to. Worry about working no damn job no more, man. Being no slave to no damn heathen. All right, but that's it, man. I pray through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem. I shout this edifying. I want to give our praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostle and others. Great meal, snowing real well. And peace and salutations to the house of David. Shalom to the other.